Hi, this is Jamie with Stonemeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite game mechanism in Terraforming Mars. Terraforming Mars, as you can probably tell by the name, is a game about terraforming Mars to make it a, a habitable planet. And that goal is also tied to my favorite game mechanism, which is um, how the game encourages players to advance towards ending the game. Um, one thing I talk about in this video series a lot is that I, I like it when games think of something a little bit more clever than having a set number of rounds um, before ending the game. Mechanically, this can also often work out fine because you, like, you can plan ahead if you have a set number of rounds and, and you know that I have you know five rounds to do this specific thing I want to do. That's fine. But thematically, I really like it when that is not the case. And Terraforming Mars, the game ends when you have terraformed Mars, of course. Um, and the game doesn't do this by a set number of rounds. What it does is that there are three categories of things that need to be accomplished um, for Mars to be considered terraformed. One, the oxygen, need, the oxygen level needs to get up to a certain level. The temperature needs to get up to a certain level. And there needs to be a certain number of, uh, of bodies of water on the board, on Mars. When all three of those things have been accomplished, the game ends. Now, I had heard about this before I played Terraforming Mars, and I'm always curious with a game like this how it's going to actually encourage players to do those things instead of doing other things in the game, other ways to get points. And Terraforming Mars does this in a really, really clever way. Um, basically, every round at the beginning of every round in Terraforming Mars, you're going to get some stuff. The game is basically about getting stuff every round and you're improving your ability to get that stuff every round that you play. And one of those things that you get are credits. You're getting money. And money is tied to a little tracker that you have on your little player mat and it's tied to what looks like a score track that goes around the board. What it really is is a score track at the end of the game but during the game it's your income for every round. So you start off with 20 cre a 20 credit income on that track and at the end of the game, if you ended the game at 20 income, you would get 20 points at the end of the game, plus a bunch of other points that you earn. Or not a bunch, but a few other points that you earn. And so what this translates to, the reason I'm telling you this, is that whenever you do any of the things that advance the game, if you uh, raise the oxygen level, if you raise the temperature, or if you put down a lake, in addition to doing that thing, you increase your level on the credit track. So if I was a 20, I'd go up to 21 if I put down a lake. Um, and the reason I'd want to do that in the game is not just at the end of the game when I get points, which probably wouldn't be enough. I mean, points are obviously very important, but that may not be enough to encourage players to actually do those things to move towards the end game state. But in addition to that, it's worth money at the beginning of every round. So instead of just getting 20 credits at the beginning of each round, I'd get 21 credits. That double benefit really encourages players to do those things. Um, do those things to move the game towards an end game state. In addition to that, um, all of the things that you're doing to move towards the end game state have another bonus, another reason that you'll do it. So there are three bonuses. Maybe that's what it takes for, for players to, to do this, to move the game forward. There are three bonuses. Um, and it depends on the, the, the category. So with the oxygen, if you, when you, usually the main way to get oxygen is that you put down a, I think it's a forest tile. I think that's the term for it. And when you put down a force tile, you raise the oxygen. But at the end of the game, um, every force tile you have is worth one point. And for every force tile next to a city that you control is also worth a point. So there's, I guess there's four bonuses for, the, for that category. With raising the temperature, um, when you raise it past certain levels, you get a second bonus. So you're not always going to get this bonus for raising the, te the temperature. but Often, and this ties to another thing, one is that you get past a certain threshold and that lets you take a, a little bonus. I think there are three such thresholds. And two, a lot, many of the cards in the game, it's, it's a card-driven game, many of the cards are based on certain thresholds. So you, well not many, some of them. So you can't play some cards unless the temperature is above X degrees. Um, same with oxygen, you can't play a card unless it's above a certain amount of oxygen. And so that's another reason, if you have those cards, and they're usually very good, that you want to do those things um, to, again, move the game towards the end game in addition, in a, as a way to play those cards. And last, with the lakes, the lakes, it, whenever you place a tile next to a lake, 
you get an immediate two credit bonus. And so that's a reason that you'd want to get lakes down on the board so that you can put down more tiles next to them and get that bonus. Um, so as you can see, there are all these integrated systems that are constantly just pushing players towards advancing the game, towards moving the game forward. And I think that's really key in a game like this, that you do have all those rewards and all those reasons to do those things, or otherwise the game can really drag on. But Terraform Mars is not like that. It is constantly encouraging players to move towards that end game state. Um, and there is a sense of satisfaction uh, of doing that because you are, you're playing a role in actually terraforming Mars. That's very satisfying, even though you're doing it together with the other players. Um, it, it's, it's a really, really well done system that I, that I really enjoy. That is my favorite thing about terraforming Mars, my favorite mechanism. If you have a favorite mechanism in this game that you'd like to share, I'd love to hear it. Or if you have another game that has a very specific end game state that the game rewards you to, it encourages you to move towards that game state, that end game state through a system of rewards or some other system. I'd love to hear about that in the comments as well. Thanks.